I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the Lifestyle Blog, Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to make maple baked sweet potato wedges. So I have all of our ingredients laid out here. I have made wedges out of two large um, sweet potatoes. I've washed and scrubbed them, but as you can see, I have left the skins on. Um, so we have a total of 12 wedges here. Um, each sweet potato made six wedges. I also have half of a teaspoon of salt. I have two tablespoons of unsalted butter. And then here I have a half of a cup of maple syrup. So I also have this baking dish here that's been foil lined. Um, you don't have to foil line it, but it certainly makes cleanup a lot easier. Um, I have a spoon here for stirring. And then I have a little saucepan over here that I am going to turn on the heat about like medium to low because we are going to warm um, the butter, the salt, and the syrup all together. Now in the back, my oven is preheating at 400 degrees and let's begin by melting our butter in our little saucepan here. Okay, now let's add in our syrup. Beautiful, beautiful. Give that a little stir and then we are going to let this come to a quick boil. And as soon as it does, we're gonna take it off the heat. Okay, you're gonna really start to smell that nice maple yumminess. I'm gonna say we're good to go. Perfect, we're getting all sorts of bubbles. Here we go. All right, that's what you're looking for. Turn it off. I'm gonna scooch this to the side. And what we're gonna do is drizzle this. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. I wish you could smell this so that you can see. We're gonna drizzle this over. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, now because it's hot, we're gonna use the spoon to sort of just toss them and make sure everything gets nice and coated with the butter and the maple syrup. It's actually not that hot, it cooled really, really fast, so I think we're good. I may just stick my hands in there. These are ginormous sweet potato wedges. Your sweet potatoes may not be as big as mine were, um, so because of this, I'm just gonna get my hands in there. I do not mind having buttery, syrupy, delicious hands. Okay, so I'm just gonna coat, and as I coat, I'm gonna pop it one cut side down in here and just continue with the rest. So all my syrupy yumminess is, is happening at the bottom here. So I'm just gonna coat, 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 pop it in. Oh my gosh, this smells so fantastic. You wanna make sure um, that each one is properly coated. We're not gonna be covering this with foil. And the last thing you want is for your wedges to dry out. Okay, okay well, I don't wanna crowd the pan. And as you can see, these are so large, um, I'm going to need another pan for the rest of these. So I'm gonna put these in another pan. I'm gonna sprinkle them with a little bit of salt that I have here. Um, my oven is preheated at 400 degrees. So once they're sprinkled with salt, I'm gonna pop them in the oven and let them cook anywhere from 40 to 50 minutes. Now that's just because these are so large. If you have smaller sweet potatoes and therefore smaller wedges, it could be anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. Um, also note, about halfway through at about minute 20, I'm gonna be flipping these. I'm gonna check the cut side down and see if they're nice and golden brown. When they are, you know it's ready to flip to the other side. So we're gonna come back in about 45, 50 minutes. Okay, so it's been 45 minutes. As I said, these guys were a little bit bigger, so it took a little bit longer to cook. Um, but as you can see, they have all this delicious caramelized yumminess happening because of that um, maple syrup. It's so good, I cannot wait to bite into these, but they're still a little bit hot, so I'm gonna have to wait. And there you have it, so delicious, maple baked sweet potato wedges. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you wanna learn how to make, send me an email at requests at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.